Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of family, of friendship, of two people who have decided to spend their forever together. Today we celebrate the love that is shared between Thomas and Sarah as they officially tie the knot. You guys can be seated. <laughs> That's going to make for a good picture. <laughs> I've had the pleasure of knowing Tom and Sarah for more than 10 years, which is almost the same amount of time they've had to know each other. Over the course of the 10 years, I've had the chance to watch them grow from dating, to getting an apartment, to buying a house, and now getting married. And when I met Tommy, I understood all the reasons that she fell in love with him. She was the truest version of herself that I could ever imagine. And what I mean by that is, she smiled so much brighter, she laughed harder, and she was so much happier. Thomas, I will tell you, it was always so obvious whenever you had a visit planned, because Sarah went from being the smiliest person in our house to the smiliest person in the whole world. I think there are many ways that you can show someone you love them. And Sarah, I know you do not take for granted that hour and a half drive Tommy made countless times just to spend a little extra time with you. college and Tommy stayed home. During that time, Tommy lived with me. And I think anyone who knew Tommy at the time knew something changed. He lost his energy, he lost his motivation. Tommy wasn't Tommy. No matter what we did or how long the break lasted, we couldn't get him back. Towards the end of Sarah's time at college, they started talking again. And immediately, overnight, we had Tommy back. And it was at that time I realized it's hard to be 100% when half of you is missing. Here's a toast to the couple who defines the saying, you are my better half. Cheers. I love you both. I've never officiated a wedding before, but I've been extremely fortunate to grow up surrounded by happy couples and strong, healthy marriages. And I can assure you both, that all of the characteristics I've come to associate with love are both present and plentiful in your relationship. When he made the decision that he wanted to propose to Sarah, he came to me and said, don't freak out, but I want to ask Sarah to marry me. I didn't hesitate to say I couldn't be happy for you both because I knew there was no future where Tommy was at his best without Sarah in it. So these rings are the physical embodiment of your love to each other and the commitment you are making today. You will wear them wherever you go to serve as a reminder that no matter where life takes you, your heart will always be waiting for you back at home. I'm just so happy for you guys and I can't wait to watch all the love and all the growth that you guys make with each other. Um, but I just can't wait to watch you guys walk. my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Thomas, you may kiss your bride.